nothing that appears is apart from that oneness that you are you see there's only oneness and when you begin to understand oneness even minutely you feel at peace even if your body is sick even if you're not feeling good at all that can never take away that peace you see that you feel inside because it's it's a knowing that 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 you are or more than just a form um i just put the let me see now here hold on it's, it's right here these are these are basic questions that i received recently email okay and i'd like you to answer them okay <clears throat> Um, how are we to break free from negative thinking, Jeff? <laughs> stop thinking. Hmm? Stop thinking. Can we stop thinking? But you can um, feel more than think. You can feel instead of think. Okay, let's see it another way. What if I say to you, you're thinking negative thoughts, so what? Are you those thoughts? Or are you oneness, observing those thoughts? So you don't need to stop anything. You don't need to control anything. You just have to see that whatever is happening is just a happening in the moment. And it has only the meaning and reality that you yourself give it. That's all. The only meaning that you give something is what means something to you. And if you give the thinking meaning, then you're going to suffer to the extent of those thoughts, just because you are now making them very real. But if negative thoughts happen, they happen. It's a happening. Are you that? Do you feel you are those thoughts when you think them? Oh, probably, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. Okay. <laughs> How many of you feel that you are not the negative thoughts you think? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. And when are those times? You're being honest. That's so beautiful. When are, when are those times? When I'm, when I'm, when there's not an attachment to that, and my, I'm aw I'm aware of awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You become aware at that moment that this is what is happening, and then you see, oh, I'm attached to these, to these thoughts. I'm giving them validity. It is very, very often that we get caught. In fact, chances are that we get caught, you know, most of the time. Really believe that they are real. Really believe that this is who we are. But all we need to do is one moment, one moment of looking. Could I be those thoughts? Could I possibly be those thoughts, those negative thoughts? But instead of looking at the thoughts, maybe it's it's more like he said, um, just having a little bit of awareness, awareness of awareness. Mm -hmm. Just suddenly. That's right. So all you need is a moment of stillness, isn't it? And then see that they're all coming from the past, attachment to the past. You're thinking them, they're making into a, becoming into a story and you believing them. And see the belief that you're giving them, but could you be that right now, this moment, this isness? Could you be those thoughts? And if you have the courage to do this, and this is where we become the courage or the love of truth. If you have the courage to stop for a moment and look at those thoughts, that very looking itself starts becoming your liberation. And it brings you back to the knowing of who you are. But when I say to the knowing of who you are, you never can know who you are because you're so vast. 
but you begin to have a glimpse that you are not who you think you are you see you begin to realize that hey I am much more just think of it this way I said negative thoughts and I went general you see now if there were a million people it would be the same just like this small class here it would be the same everybody gets negative thoughts but everybody's thoughts are different and they make them personal you see so why do you think yours are true and somebody else just loves them off it doesn't matter what makes the difference between you and them because they are not real because something is real you cannot get rid of you cannot get rid of something that's real the real is so you the other person who laughs it off is recognizes that it's not real of course and you yeah yeah recognizes that it's not real or or see the silliness of it or the redundancy of it and all of a sudden it says oh, wow I was actually thinking this you see that's right that's exactly it I love the metaphor of a storm you know if it's dark and turbulent chaotic winds and rain we can't make it stop <laughs> we can let go and start d d dancing with it and letting it come right so dance with your thoughts yeah right so you're saying my thoughts are like a natural disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like playing to me. Well, well, negative thoughts are a disaster, but not a natural one. Yeah. And the point is, it doesn't, doesn't matter, you see? It, it simply doesn't matter. That is, that is the key. That is the whole key. It doesn't matter. I am. And that's what matters. Okay. I'm glad you came, Jeff. Here. Well, it's it's lovely having yeah. you. I'm partially here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the real you is here. <laughs> okay, we we will discuss this. Now someone said being personal is all I have. How can I rise above that? This is a very common one. Being person is all I know. Being me, Bert, is all I know. Now, how can I get rid of that? Being aware. Hmm? Being aware. Of, no, well, be aware that you're aware of the personal. Yes. <laughs> is that right? How, yeah. how can yeah. I rise above that? Yeah. Yeah, you see, the, the question is, being, being personal is all I know. How can I rise above that? I said, how can I rise above that? The I. Right. Is, is the I right. cannot rise above the personal. Yeah. Right. The I but is the personal. The I. Well, it is the, the personal, but if you look at what is the I, if you look at the I, you find it was never yours. It was the consciousness of, of, of it that appeared as you. You see? See, there is awareness. Each one of us is aware, right? But each one of us believes that, that this awareness right now, looking, seeing, okay? You think it's you. And this is the mistake we all make. This is called ignorance, okay? Or unawareness of, of who you are. But the moment you become aware that this awareness is, it is total, it is universal, it does not belong to anyone. Therefore, what is the point of rising above the personal? There was never any personal. There was only the belief that this awareness was mine. You see? So there is no need to rise above anything. It's only to see that what you thought is yours is. So rather than rising above, it's simply understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Understand it, yeah. <laughs> yeah.